Honorable colleagues, judges of the Tribunal of Natural and Common Law Tribunal for Public Health and Justice, today, Sunday, 26th of February, 2023. My name is Pascal Najadi. I'm a sworn in judge of this tribunal. This tribunal has been founded and is headed by Judge Alfred Lamberon Weber. Uh, please raise your hand, sir. Um, we have with us uh, Honorable Judge Amina Motala. We have uh, Honorable Judge Dr. Astrid Stückelberger from Geneva, Switzerland with us. And we have uh, Honorable Judge Marianne with us. And we have Honorable Judge Gladmother Karanan Lucic MacDonald with us. And we have Honorable Judge colleague Norman Traversy with us, as well as Honorable Judge Dolores Medina with us in this yes. historic tribunal readout of the verdict. With us as special guests are from Switzerland, Mrs. Verena Bachtel. She's in the movement against these crimes of humanity in Switzerland. She's a silent witness. We also have a special guest, Anne van der Stiel from Florida, USA, who is a co-defender of human rights and the Constitution of America. And with this, I would like to hand over to you, sir, uh, Judge Alfred, to take the floor. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Um, thank you very much, Judge, Judge Pascal. Uh, I'd like to summarize uh, a very important historic act that took place today, Sunday, February 26th. And that is that the World Health Organization, the WHO, the WHO headquarters, and uh, its secretary general and all of its employees, agents uh, were served at its headquarters in personam uh, in Geneva, Switzerland, as were all uh, the criminal co-conspirators, genociders and defendants named and unnamed in a tribunal cease and desist order and writ of mandamus that uh, you can access all of these documents and the evidence that it was served in persona via Swiss Post registered mail uh, that you can access at the tribunal website at peaceinspace.org. That's peaceinspace.org. And this was an emergency injunction and tribunal order to immediately cease and desist a criminal conspiracy to commit war crimes, genocide, and crimes against humanity through unlawful implementation of the following. Number one, the WHO Convention Agreement or other in international instrument on pandemic prevention, preparedness, and response. And there's a link to that, otherwise known as the WHO CA plus. Two, the uh, changes to the international health regulations, and three, any and other, any and all other documents, standards, or agreements allegedly related to public health by the defendants who, including and not limited to the Codex Alimentaris. And we have also, in it, and are in the process of serving constitutional law enforcement officers worldwide, starting with Interpol and constitutional law enforcement officers in every one of the 194 uh, member nations uh, under uh, writ of mandamus, ordering them to carry out their duties to arrest and incarcerate these criminal co-defendants. Uh, and so this is so ordered uh, by by the um, uh, by the by the tribunal, uh, and uh, uh, I would just like to to mention that that the mission and jurisdiction of our tribunal is, if people want an historical precedent, we're like the 1969 Lord Bertrand Russell Vietnam Tribunal of Conscience against the unlawful war in Vietnam. And our mission and jurisdiction is to enforce natural law, common law, 
and treaty law, such as the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the International Criminal Court Statute and other um, uh, civic and indigenous standards uh, against genocide and crimes against humanity where the civil international court structure is failing to do so. Uh, and so uh, you can refer to our, <laughs> our uh, tribunal website at peaceandspace.org for full uh, for full detail. That's a summary. I'll now uh, turn for further comment and questions over to the tribunal judges here, Judge Pascal, Judge Astrid, uh, uh, Clan Mother Karen, who is an advisor, Judge Howard, and Judge Dolores. So over to the other judges for any comments and our questions that they might like to give. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable Judge Alfred. May I just have a voting again to hand down the verdict as we have agreed on the 24th of February to reconfirm this on screen. Please, Honorable Judges, raise your hands if you agree with this verdict to be handed down. Okay, this is confirmed. Unanimously, thank you very much, honorable judges. Uh, for my part, I'm finished. I don't need to add anything, I think. Um, I hand it over to my colleagues for any comments, and then we will stop the recording and publish it. Thank you very much. I, again, this is uh, gratitude, and, and it's the, and, and it's the uh, natural, divine, and universal law going forward, and it's going forward uh, to uh, against genocide and crimes against humanity, where the uh, uh, structure of, of the civil courts uh, have not acted, and now this is moving forward. And so the law, there's an old saying, you do not break the law, you break yourselves against the law. And that is the message of the law to the criminal co-defendants who, who today on Sunday, February 26, 2023, have been served and are now in the inevitable process of the law. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Judge Alfred, for your wonderful closing comments. With that, I'd like to add and close that 2023 is the year of absolute truth for humanity. With that, I close this tribunal meeting session and thank everybody for being here. God bless you. Godspeed. Thank you.